Welcome to the North Hollywood Bank Shootout here at the Los Angeles Police Museum. You know, the responsibility for policing a, a big city, in fact, one of the largest cities in the world, carries with it an onerous responsibility on the part of officers. And they often don't know what they're going to be confronted with. And this was one of those days. February 28, 1997. It was a day of extreme terror and unforgettable in the memory of many people. Two officers happened to be on routine patrol near the Bank of America in North Hollywood. They saw two suspects in armored uh, regalia uh, walking into the Bank of America. They knew right away that this was probably a bank robbery and they requested assistance. While they waited for other officers to arrive, they heard gunshots as a suspect fired some shots into the ceiling of the bank and ordered everybody in the bank to lay on the floor. As the suspects committed their robbery and perpetrated their crime, they began to exit the bank. As they did exit the bank, they noticed that there were police cars there waiting for them. They immediately and without any hesitation began firing gunshots at the police and anybody else who happened to be in the parking lot. Suspects are on the north side of the middle here. Walk around the left side. We've got 847, two of them are dressed in all black, and a body armor. Unfortunately, seven civilians and 10 officers were injured. As the suspects left the bank, one of the suspects got into a vehicle and began to drive. The other suspect, for some unknown reason, began to parallel the car on foot and fire his automatic weapon at people in the parking lot indiscriminately. Soon, that suspect who was on foot left his partner, left the car, and went alongside some buildings. His weapon, a fully automatic rifle, had a malfunction, and the suspect soon threw that weapon down and began to use his pistol in shooting at the officers. Realizing that perhaps he would have to give himself up, the suspect decided to take the easy way out and commit suicide. He put the muzzle of his gun under his chin and pulled the trigger. But at the same time, an officer who happened to be on the roof behind the suspect shot the suspect and killed him. The other suspect in the car continued into a residential area. He tried to commandeer several civilians' cars. He was unsuccessful in that endeavor, but soon he was blocked in with other cars that were in his way. SWAT was on his tail. They stopped, they engaged the suspect in a firefight. During that firefight, that suspect was also killed. Not only did the suspects have these weapons that you see in this display case with the two mannequins, but they also had these weapons that are in this other case, AK-47s, drum magazines. All of these weapons, of course, are illegal to possess. But when you're committing bank robbery, I suppose it doesn't matter. The officers, meanwhile, were armed with the standard issue weapons, a Remington 870 12-gauge shotgun, a 9-millimeter handgun Beretta, and a uh, 38 caliber revolver. To say that the officers were outgunned would be putting it mildly. The officers displayed exceptional courage that day. But that, again, is what we do when we protect and serve.